What's happening guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own Lenny's and Larry's style peanut butter protein cookie. Except this cookie, it has half the calories of a Lenny's and Larry's cookie, almost twice as much protein, and it's way cheaper than a Lenny's and Larry's protein cookie. So let's get cooking. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need a food scale for this recipe. So if you don't have a food scale, you can pick one up in the video description below. Also, we're gonna be using PB2 for our peanut butter. PB2 is just peanut flour. If you don't have PB2, you can grab some of that in the video description below as well. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we can start the recipe. The first thing we're adding is a third of a cup of the PB2 to a small bowl, along with a tablespoon of oat flour. And guys, don't buy oat flour. You can just make oat flour at home, throw some oats in your blender, blend them until they turn into a flour type consistency, and just store them in a Ziploc bag like I do. Next, we're gonna add a third of a scoop of vanilla whey protein powder. I went with Isopure's low carb protein powder for this recipe. We're also gonna add a small pinch of salt as well as two tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Lastly, just add a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of the liquid sweetener of your choice. However, if you're using liquid stevia in particular, you'll probably need to use a teaspoon, maybe even a little more. All right, so now you can take a spatula and mix all of the ingredients until crumbly. Once everything kind of gets crumbly, we can use our hands to start forming a cookie dough. And when the cookie dough takes shape, we just spray our work surface area with a little baking spray, add the dough and start forming our cookie. Once your cookie takes shape though, just take out a fork and score the top of your cookie, just like you would with any other peanut butter cookie. And then at this point, you can pop your cookie in the fridge for an hour and eat it as a no-bake cookie, or you can microwave it for 10 seconds, let it set for a minute or two, and eat it warm and gooey like I like to do. I think it's so delicious that way. And of course, as always, enjoy guys. Just a couple of pro tips guys, when you make this cookie, just make sure that you use a food scale because the amounts that you're using in your bowl, they need to be sort of exact. Otherwise, it can get too wet or too dry and you don't want that to happen to you. Also, when you're kind of forming your cookie dough, it might seem like it's too dry, but if you work your dough enough, a cookie dough will form, trust me, it just takes a little bit of effort. As far as the macros on the cookie, it's 208 calories, six grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, seven of which is fiber and 25 grams of protein. If you want the full recipe with the metric measurements all to the gram, you can find that in the video description below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you enjoy the cookie. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.